Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and think about this. Have you ever seen the perfect smartphone? No, right? Have you ever seen a smartphone hit like all five of the pillars of a great smartphone? All of those on the nose 100%. It seems like it never happens. It seems like every time you have a new great smartphone, there's always one little thing holding it back. But I think today, that may change. Today, we may figure something out here. For those of you who don't already know, the five pillars of a great smartphone, for me anyway, are great battery, great build, great performance, great camera, and great display. If you can make a smartphone that nails all five of those things, then you've made a great smartphone that's worth buying. It's harder than it sounds, but that's something to get into. So okay, great battery life, Yes, this phone has that. It may only be a 900 milliamp hour battery, but number one, it's removable, and number two, it's not powering the most power hungry specs in the world, so I can pretty much guarantee it lasts longer than your current phone. This one seems to be getting about two to three weeks of screen on time, considering the screen never turns off. Great build quality, check. Do I even have to convince you it's a well-built phone? You already know, it's kind of a legend for that. Uh, it's a little bit thick, but I've said over and over again that I don't mind thicker phones. It's mildly water resistant, it's dust resistant, drop resistant, shatter resistant, time resistant. This, uh, this thing is really solid. Great performance. Well, this thing is snappy as hell. I've been flipping through the UI a lot. Uh, not really multitasking, but more just flipping really fast through the menu options. And I can see pretty much no lag at all, so performance here is also great. I threw some pretty big numbers at the calculator, and after some key work, it seems to handle it just fine. Not really sure why more manufacturers don't go with physical buttons, but that was really satisfying. And I'm not really much of a gamer, but this phone actually is such a performance beast that it, act it they just preload games on it. They just have games built in. So I picked Snake 2, which seemed pretty straightforward, and, uh... I pretty much crushed the high score. It did take a while, which shows it can definitely hold a lot in the RAM. I don't, I don't know how much RAM it has, but I swear it, it definitely held its own. And then great camera. Uh, Nokia actually took a really courageous approach with this one and just straight up didn't include a camera at all. I mean, you know what they say, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, if you're not going to include the absolute best camera, why waste any space? just don't put it in at all. So you actually save, you don't have anything to worry about on the back of the phone, no smudges, and also no camera bump on the back. So huge bonus points there. And then great display. Okay, there's not nearly enough pixels on this one. I'm gonna have to take some points off, but overall, pretty complete package. I give it an eight out of 10. I'll definitely throw the wallpaper in the description too for those of you asking for it. Okay, so obviously you've gone to your subscription box and figured out what day it is. Figured this would be a fun little project for April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day. It's funny though, in this, this little project of making this video, I never, I learned a lot about these phones. Like I never owned a Nokia 3310. This was before I owned any phones at all. So I actually bought like four of them. I, this is probably just past Windows Phone and Market Share because of this. Oh! There's a lot of really interesting things this phone does. Uh, for one thing, it boots up super fast. I kind of miss when phones booted up just like that. It actually has an option to update the software. I didn't try that because it was hard enough to get the SIM card working, but just a lot of cool stuff. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this one. Maybe know if you want to see other actually old phones like realistically covered in a video. I have a Nexus One. I have my first smartphone, the Droid. But uh, there's, there's stuff out there that we can make videos about. Either way, thanks again for watching. Again, this is your annual warning to like not pay too much attention to your Twitter feed today, but if you want to have some fun, go open Google Maps on your phone right now. You're welcome. Talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.